no flow. Five mil on YouTube in six months. Never done before. Hey, hey, Chris, this is lit. It's every day, bro, with that Disney Channel flow. Does this shit even need an intro? What's up guys, it's Neriku, back at it again for yet another problem. I'm talking about Jake Paul, or better yet, the people behind Jake Paul. The Jake Paulers. Real creative there, Jake. Anyways, Jake Paulers are the fans that have contributed to Jake Paul's success, and sure, he did have a boost from his brother, Vine, Disney Channel, and other shit like that, so it's not like he's the second coming of Jesus or anything. He's just a guy who seized every opportunity he had to pursue exposure and fame. And let's be real here, the dude is a marketing genius. If there was anything about him that I can say is redeeming or a redeeming quality of his, it would be his marketing prowess. Think about it. Other than the OG Justin Bieber himself, who else has been able to finesse more prepubescent girls out of their allowances? No one but Jake Paul. Wow. It's actually quite impressive, and if there's anything that I've learned, it's to make a shit product and plug the shit out of it over and over again till your most loyal fans are convinced that they're not true fans unless they get that Jake Paul merch. When you think about it, it's like stealing candy from a baby, except for, in this case, it's all the money from each and every sucker's parents. It does my heart good to con a couple of class A sucker like those two. <laughs> So I wanted to cover some of the most extreme suckeroonies out there, the Jake Paulers, and I also want to explain to you guys why they've become a problem and why they're to blame for shit like this. Deck the tree with yellow diamond, bling 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 blau, bubbling blau burr. Buy that merch, buy that merch, buy that merch, buy that merch, buy that merch. Buy that merch. Buy that merch. What? What the fuck? We all know that Jake Paul considered himself an artist of sorts. And honestly, I can understand exactly why he thinks this. I mean, the guy must be really talented as he tells us that he makes almost all his tracks in just one day. Jake Paul, merch link in bio. We made this in one day. Please. I made this in one day. Many of you guys are probably wondering why he even bothers making music, and I have the golden ticket for you. The answer to all your pain. It's because no matter how bad his tracks are, no matter how bad his singles are, no matter how bad his albums are, Jake Paul continues to make money. I mean, duh, right? Who could have guessed that at all? But in all seriousness, take a look at some of his views on his music videos. Sure, he makes a good deal off of ad revenue, but have you considered just how many people are actually buying this ear-bleeding sacrilege on iTunes? or on Spotify, or how many people are streaming it, or playing it over and over again? Think about that for a second. It actually all boils down to this, really. It's an acronym that I like to use called j -Pass. It's the reason behind Jake's success, his merch sales, his music career, and the reason behind why he's kind of an asshole. You see, j -Pass is short for Jake Paulers are stupid. And he knows this, and I don't necessarily mean this in an offensive way. Like, I understand that they're little kids at the end of the day, and I'm really hoping that they all grow up and kind of grow out of this phase. But let me explain. I don't want any skates or candy. And a choo-choo train will never do. But in my Christmas letter, I told Santa Claus to bring me you. Traits of a Jake Paula. It seems to me that Jake Paulas are honestly all suffering from a serious hearing disorder. They seem to like, sing, react, and buy every single track that is released. I mean, it must be similar to like a cult or something. Maybe it's the hive mentality. Once Daddy Jake Paul speaks, his fans immediately react. They only hear from him, and only him. Even the parents are lost for both discipline and understanding from all their children. The epidemic itself seems to be spreading to most of the young girl population in the USA. Millions upon millions of prepubescent teens can be seen in both his videos and attending his meet and greets. This cringeworthy disease is growing and spreading like wildfire. Fortunately for us, Jake Paul has the immediate and only cure. It's apparently buying his merch. And who can argue with the sound logic, especially when you're a fan who is obsessively exposed to his sales pitch day in and day out, over and over again. I mean, every single vlog features something like this. Purple Beast, 
says, Jake plugs so hard. LOL. <laughs> I do, merch link in bio. Oh. Merch link in bio, yeah. though. But yo, guys, if you don't plug, then you like. You always have to plug. Then always plug. What are you doing? I don't, I don't know. You're basically like not even a human if you don't plug. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I do merch link in bio. Or even. Comments, do you have merchandise for kids? Yes. We do have uh, merchandise yeah. for kids. We have kid sizes. Always plug. Thank you, bio. And every single song features the same immediate plug. Merch link in bio. Jake Paul is a marketing genius. He knows that by making cheap, repeatable bullshit and touting it as the only way to get his everlasting love, his fans will buy it. The same thing not only applies to his shit clothing line, but to his music, his merch, and even his shit videos. He knows that at the end of the day, he can always rely on the Jake Paulers to support him in all of his endeavors, no matter how stupid. Some are upset about Jake Paul's recent push to pay rappers and other artists to actually make an appearance on his tracks. And I don't really see why they're mad. I mean, like, if you like a particular rapper or artist and you want to see them do well and grow in their careers, then why not allow them to do a collab with Jake Paul? Why not be supportive of that endeavor? I mean, it's the absolute cheapest labor that they can ever do. And not to mention that his videos are a great source of exposure for even artists who are well known. If you found a way to finesse a dumbass kid out of a quick stack or, I don't know, 250k, then I don't really see a problem with it at the end of the day. I say every rapper should do a feature with Jake Paul. At least this means that at the end of the day, when Jake Paul releases another shit track of sorts, we at least get one verse that is worth listening to. I don't know guys, to be honest, I really don't have a problem with the guy who is Jake Paul. Sure, he's annoying and needs to spend more than one day on his songs, and speaking of which, um, if you guys are interested, you know, tell me, tell me down below if I should do a, a remix of one of his tracks, like to make it better, to uh, improve on it in a, in a way. Um, a lot of you guys who are new here may not know that I kind of dabble in rap just for fun. I don't consider myself a rapper or anything. I just kind of do it because I think it's hilarious. I'm not saying anything. I just really think that it'll be better than anything that Jake Paul could put out. Comment down below if you guys want to see me do a remix or a cover to a Jake Paul song. But yeah, that's pretty much my problem with the Jake Paulers, the mindless horde of deaf, dumb, and blind fans. Sure, many of them are only kids, but only you can put an end to the madness. Join me in my quest to end the Jake Paulers. The solution is right in front of our faces. Simply do not allow your kids to become Jake Paulers. Don't allow your younger siblings to be Jake Paulers. Save your nieces and nephews from the Jake Paul disease. Warn your cousins about the dangers of Jake Paulism. The good news is that many people are actually starting to become woke. Jake Paul is imploding at an unprecedented rate. The Martinez twins have left Team 10, and we are this close to seeing the sexual predator, otherwise known as Nick Crompton, aka Mr. England is my city, put away for all his gay crimes against humanity. Was there anything I missed? Are there any other key symptoms of the Jake Paul disorder? Let me know what true autism looks like by commenting down below. Julia sometimes does things differently because Julia has I know this video was already uncomfortable as fuck for many of you, so thank you all for suffering through it with me. If you like this video and you want to see me do more, as always, gently tongue punch that like button. Also, if you're new here, why not subscribe, because I create crazy, cringeworthy content consistently. Again, my name is Neriku, aka The Girthy Daddy, and I will see each and every one of you weirdy F mofos in the next video. Merry Christmas, and peace.